Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at last year's best-selling bunkhouse motorhome. This is a 2022 Thor Ace model 32.3. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then, we're gonna give you three things we love about the Ace and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the best-selling bunkhouse motorhome from last year, the Ace. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good, you guys. Um, we are back in Ocala. Yep. Uh, we are. I'm excited. You know, anytime we get to look at Thor products, it's a good day. And do you know why this was the best selling bunkhouse? Why? Because it's the best price class A bunkhouse. So house. it's the best economically priced bunkhouse model. Exactly. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Thor Ace 32.3. The actual tip tip length of this motorhome is 33 feet 5 inches. This is the Thor Ace. What Ace, it, it's their entry level brand. What it used to stand for is Class A, Class C Evolution. So it's a Class A motorhome with floor plants like the Class C's. But it is a true Class A built on an F53 chassis. And what's unique about Ace, it does have one of the smallest windshields in the industry with a little brow over it and now they do paint this front part black um it gives it a good look you know what i'm saying we do got stickers and decals right there nice led lights oversized lights i like that light up the road while you're driving down coming on down the side here we do got chrome mirrors on your left side right side with cameras integrate integrated with them right here you do have your doggy window and it is a frameless window because this is a thor they do use the 12 year structural warranty, six year lamination warranty. Again, I did say this is a true class A, built on an F53 class A motorhome chassis. It does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Andrea, they're the good years. I love those. 245-70R19.5 with shiny rims right there. Coming on down the side here. Here's all your batteries, hydraulics for your leveling, and there's a D-ring if you want to leash up your pet. Very nice. Right here, Andre, is going to be your propane tank. Okay. And if somebody wants to see the specs, bing! That's all the specs of this motorhome lengths, tank sizes, widths, and everything right there and then here we do have an outside tv awesome and then we do have a very nice power awning with led lights let's take a look at that when it's all the way out wow look at that andrea very nice power awning with led lights good size yes ma'am Right over here, we got really good storage. Okay, little twisty doors, you know how we feel about that. Power on the outside here. Okay. Oh, a little bit more oh, action going on. We got some pass through. Yes. Right there, Andrea, is a propane quick connect. You know what this is? Potable? Potable. <laughs> Potable water. And then here, got more storage right All there. All right, another pass through. Yes, ma'am. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper. Not good for a slinky slinky. 8,000 pound hitch. Now that does not mean this motorhome can tow 8,000 pounds. You're good with 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you will have to weigh your motorhome and check all that stuff. Here is your fuel fill up in the rear right here. And a backup camera is integrated in that rear tail light. Also, we do have a one-piece TPO roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Sure you want to go up there? It's awfully hot already. Here we are. Hold on. 
Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. We have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there, you have your max air fan with cover right there. Wine guard digital antenna. And then as you can see right here, it is prep for solar. And if you haven't already, make sure everybody's smashing that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. Is that other side of that storage? 50 amp power cord right there. Okay. Right here's your generator. See, Cummins own in 5,500 gas generator. Because it did have the two AC units. I like that it's a vented apartment. Yes, certainly. Right here, 50 amp. Here's your wet bay, outdoor shower, black tank flush. Nice place to dump your black and gray tank. Okay. Storage. Okay. City water connection. Water heater. Look what they're doing. Good job. Continuing with the decal. And Andrea, that costs a few dollars more. I bet it did. But it looks good. Okay, good storage. Very nice. And then here. Yep, we just got a little bit of that action going on. A little bit more right. storage. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Hey, don't forget the cargo. Cargo carry capacity, 1612. Wow. Okay. Slide is in. All right, guys. Now, as you can see, it's a little walkway right through here, but it's plenty of space I and mean, yep. it's doable and right here it opens up more then it gets a little bit tighter again you got the bathroom and then we got the master yay which looks like you can use the bed with the slide in all right I like the colors in here Great. And Andrea, while the slide out's coming out, I want to take a quick second to thank our new sponsor, CampgroundViews.com. If you guys haven't already seen the interview with the owner of CampgroundViews.com, we'll link it up there also at the end of this video. But what CampgroundViews.com is a 360 digital tour of campgrounds. Right now, they're getting all the recreation.gov properties, which means state and national parks. You're able to tour them, set your dates, check availabilities, and actually book your campsite all through the website again mark the owner of campground views is a great guy make sure you guys check out that video at the end of this video andrea let's continue the video okay so we're getting started up here in the cockpit area look at this very nice nice new steering wheel you got your cup holder here auto leveling sound system and everything this is super nice Right over here, you have your radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You're able to see what's going on on your left side and your right side, also in reverse. CD player, um, right over here, we got your AC unit, three more cup holders and everything. Andre, you wanna sit in the co-captain seat? Yes. And then this also, what's really unique, right here, we do have a mirror, like so you're looking back up and you can have a conversation with people in the RV. How do you feel? Well, I think it's supposed to stay like that. Really? It doesn't move up? Yeah. Okay. So. But look how much leg space you have. Yeah, that's true. I got a lot of leg space. I like that there's a table here. Uh huh. Uh huh. And a place for your pets. Yeah, you know, you know would lay right there for yeah, sure. Yeah, there is a lot of leg space. Yes. We got lights up here. Privacy curtain to go around. Yep. Um, I like that both seats do swivel and you do have a pedestal table that will go here. Yes, ma'am. And we got some cute little cubbies up here. And we do have a bunk over the cab. Let me demonstrate that for you guys. 
So what you do is... Now this one's a little one. Yep. And you have your key here. 250 pounds is the max on this. Yes. And there's definitely a pro and a con about it. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. But look at that. You have even more cubbies up there. That is super duper nice. Yeah, this is a one person bed or two little kids. There is a ladder that goes here. Yes, and it makes it easy to climb up and down. And then over here in the living room area, Andre, look at this. Big, oversized cabinetry. DVD player right there. Sound system underneath the cabinetry. How do you like the balances? Um, eh, I'm kind of tired of seeing these out balances. Okay, okay. It's been the same for years now. If that's how you feel, <laughs> I'm not gonna question you. Right over here, we do have a nice big window. Cup holder is right there. And then you have a sofa right here with seat belts in it. And it's nice, it's comfortable. This does jackknife to make a bed. But more importantly, Andre, we're looking directly across the TV. Yes. Now, the TV is above the dinette, but you do get two windows right there. Very nice. This dinette does drop down if you do want it to be another sleeping arrangement, where in a motorhome like this, that might be what you're doing. You do have storage underneath here. Power on that side. Storage right there. And then, Andre, do you know what this is? A uh, car seat tether. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $150,338. Andrea, MSRP. Sale price, do you know what the sale price is? I do not. No, currently right now with how volatile the RV market is, we're not advertising the sale price, but Andrea, trust me, nobody's selling this at MSRP. We're still giving huge discounts, which makes this the number one selling bunkhouse motorhome because of how great the sale price will be. And Andrea, if somebody wants to buy one of these and get the best price, tell everybody how to do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three forms of contact. If you're ready to buy an RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you're not ready to buy, not a problem. That's what tab number two is for. That sends an email to both Will and myself and we're here to help uh, answer your questions to get you in the right buying decision mode. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, there's one thing that every tab will have in common. They'll get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Let's continue the video. Okay, Matt, look, uh, you don't see this a lot in RVs where they have a window above the door. Nice. So that's nice because it gives you that extra light. It does have a shade. Sure does. Okay, so here's the kitchen, everybody. Okay. They gave you a window. Yes. We got a cabinet with adjustable shelves. Very nice. We got a, a, a residential style sink. Okay. With an extension here. Yep, yep. And then we got uh, four oops, sponges. Three and a half. I kind of wish, you know, we had a little bit more counter space. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We got three drawers. Nice big drawers, too. Look at that. Front Very space. nice. Got a cabinet. Oh, you get two trash cans. Whoa, that's a $104 yeah. trash can. <laughs> and you get two of them. Maybe that's why they're the best selling. <laughs> And we got the microwave up here. Did we show this? No. Yes, I did. Oh, okay. That was the first thing I showed. Microwave, very nice. Okay, we got the three burner Furion propane cooktop. Yes, ma'am. This glass cover. Uh-huh. And you get an oven. Very nice. Awesome. I like I the blue Furion panel, lights as well. Right? Yep, that's a panel. Don't. Why? Yep. Why do they do that? Oh, it's out of the way. I like it. All right, we got a cabinet here. Yes, ma'am. We got a compressor fridge. Very nice. Good size. Got your panel here. And now we got the bunk beds. All right. Going on over here. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. So uh, they're not doing the flip up beds, but, but they got storage underneath the beds. The ladder goes here. Right over there, that's where like your tablet holder would be. No TVs anymore. Nobody's doing that. They're putting like the tablet TVs. holders. Got the privacy curtain. They yep. have their windows window there. there lights. Window there. Yep. Same and, thing down here. And it looks like we got two drawers at least for storage. Yep. Yep. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. And then over here, we do have a nice, I do like the pocket door. Yes. It is nice. But unfortunately, I'm seeing that we have a radius shower here. You guys know the rules Hold already. On. That's, that's actually not bad. I mean, that seems like a good size. What do you think? Close it? What do I think? <laughs> Close it. What do I think? <laughs> Hang on. Let me tie my shoe real quick. That's think, what I think. I don't think most people will tie their shoes. Like but if you drop the soap, it's down. I don't like radius showers. <laughs> okay. All right, over here we have the medicine cabinet. Yes, ma'am. Oh, well, that's kind of a big medicine cabinet. Yeah, for all your medicines. There. There's another mirror here. Um, you got the sink here. Lots of counter space. Cabinet. And then another one there. Yep. And then over here, this is interesting. Yeah, you don't normally um, see this. Yeah, maybe they could have cut that out and gave you a bigger shower. Got the towel holder and then another cabinet down here. Yes, ma'am. It's now time for the toilet test. Porcelain. Porcelain. I will say they cut it close. They cut it close. Mm -hmm. But you win by an inch or you win by a mile, Andrea, this is a prime poop position. Bing! But it easily could have failed. Finally. It could have. Okay, look at this wide entry into the master. I was about to say that. <laughs> I, I was like, is this wider than normal? I think it is. And we got a pocket door here. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we got a king size bed. Yes. Headboard right there. There is a window right there where that pillow's covering. Um, all right, so we do have a window right here and Matt, oh my goodness. Look at all that. They gave you, this is awesome, a nightstand with USBs and three drawers here. Very I nice. like that. Look at that. Yeah. There's more storage space. And then you got the top up here. Three compartments. Very nice. Now we have, just let me check over here and see if we have the same thing on this side, which we do. Okay. Oh, nope. We have one drawer. Okay. And then a cabinet. And then we have a wardrobe, a little teeny tiny one right here. Yeah, teeny tiny. Okay. And then right over here, we do got your uh, thingamadoo. Your yeah. storage. Ah. Oh, are you okay? Oh, Ouch. Yeah. Uh oh. All right. Dang nabbit, Thor. You always hurt yourself in Thor's. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's it's a bunch of them. You all right? Yeah. Steve, it's a, don't worry. The the fingers are always the most tender for some reason. All right right oh. here, you got, um, hey, that was a Thor Palazzo that burnt me as well. <laughs> I'm just saying. We got two drawers Show that. here. Keep going. Nice size drawers. You got USB electrical outlet there. Okay. And then we have a bigger wardrobe right here. They're lucky that burn mark went away <laughs> or there'd be a class action lawsuit. Okay, so in here you see you have your pedestal table. Yep, yep, yep. And then we have six drawers here. Very so nice. Very nice. I like the white cabinetry with the uh, black handles. I do too. And let's see what we got under the bed. Oh my goodness! Whoa! There's your ladders. There's wow. your storage. Wow, that's pretty good. That's very good. I like that. Me too. And as much as I like it, Andrea, and as great as it is, and as popular as this motorhome is at selling, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome, three things we dislike about it, Andrea. What do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay, I'm gonna go first, go if ahead. you don't mind. Go ahead. Every time, every time, a hundred times, a million times, we will say it until they change or until we die. I don't understand the bunk beds that don't flip up. I don't need a balance in a freaking bunk. I'd rather have this bed flip up 
become wardrobe space, become multi-purpose. That's what I like. That's what I like, and that's what we like. I agree. That's number one. I totally agree. Number two, Andrea? Number two. Number two. Okay. Uh, this is a family motorhome or yep. a piece to motorhome where you're going to bring guests. Okay. Yep. This is not enough space for me to cook. I totally I understand. Mean, not at all. So I, I want to see them either make it a peninsula pull out okay. or an extension here. Or something. And, something. And, and you know what else? There's not There's not a pantry there's in here. There's not a pantry, which is very important to me. Yep. Um, yeah. I don't have a solution. I, I don't either. I don't know. I don't know. I don't make them. I just... <laughs> yep. I just review them. <laughs> yep, yep. And, and don't get me wrong. We'll, we'll, we'll give them a little hall pass on that. Because there is only so much you can do in this length. But that's number two. And then number three, Andrea, I am saying this. This 250 pound bunk capacity, it's stupid. It should be higher. Um, the competition's doing 500. 600, 700, 800, 800 pounds. So 250 is not even cutting it. Oh, and I'm gonna combo the little twisty blocks on the outside. I hate those little twisties. Yeah. Well, Andrea, that's three things we don't like about this motorhome. Now it's time for three things. Hang on, somebody wants to say hi to us. Where? All right. Congratulations, Congratulations. Guys. Thank you so much. Enjoy your ace. Drive safe, nice happy way. camping. Thank you. And you guys too, be careful. And look guys, they're driving away in their brand new ace. <laughs> Our fun. job is so much fun. Yeah. So what was I on, dislikes? Yeah, we were, um, we were done oh, dislikes. Oh, we were done dislikes. Okay, so yeah, back at it. We don't like the bunk, only holding 250 pounds. With that said, things break all the time in RVs, okay? And the fact of the matter is, if your bunk over the cabin in this motorhome broke, you're still able to sit here and drive your motorhome. You so this is saying? your like? Yeah, this is my like, okay. like number one. In case of an emergency, you can still you can still drive home. There's a lot of times, Andrea. That people can't drive home. Yeah, because the whole system will go down. Right. That is number one. Um, also, I know this, I'm out of place here, but there's no. supposed to be a doggy thing hole here somewhere. Oh, is it, it under the shower? No, it's under here and I forgot to point it out. Uh-oh. It's on the side of the bed. So if you have pets, put your pet food in there and water well is that like number two that's like number two i guess <laughs> I, I i'm going to combo that like number two with all the pet stuff in here yes it's very pet friendly yep they have that dog bowl the food bowl they have the dog leash on the outside in the dog window andrea everybody knows what who we love the most yes is, is our you know <laughs> and so the fact that thor's making a motorhome built around dogs is very yes, nice very practical so that's number two. Two, and then Andrea, we need a number third. We need a number three, we need a number three. Here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say this cockpit area. So many times in these motor homes, you don't have big cockpit areas. This cockpit area is huge. There is plenty of space for you to sit up here, Plenty of space for you to make this an office, even when you are parked with that nice fold up table. And plenty of space again for your dog to lay right there to look out your window. Because everybody knows if we're traveling in a motorhome, you know we'll be laying right yes. there. It's a little nook, it's a little corner mm -hmm. for her and everything. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions on this store, Ace, please, Call, text, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you are in the market for a more entry level class A gas motorhome like this one, we're gonna put the competitors right there and there. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Thor does read the comments, you guys, and they watch all the videos. So they are very interested in your feedback. Um, thank you so much to campgroundviews.com. Yep. 
um, they are a big help you guys with camping and just trying to find where to go and they're kind of just like all in one yes so, so make sure you check out take, the video take right advantage there of that and watch the video yep I hope you guys are safe and well thanks for watching thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching and Andrea we'll see you, you next time, time.